Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about law of thermodynamics. So before discussing about law of thermodynamics, we will discuss about system or surroundings. So everything that is not a part of a system constitutes it surrounding. The system and surroundings are separated by a boundary. For example, if the system is one mole of gas in a container, then the boundary is simply the inner wall of the container itself. Everything outside of the boundary is considered the surrounding, which would include the container itself. The boundary must be clearly defined so one can clearly say whether a given part of the world in, is in the system or in the surroundings. If matter is not able to pass across the boundary, then the system is said to be closed, otherwise it is open. A system may still exchange energy with the surroundings unless the system is an isolated one, in which case neither matter nor energy can pass across the boundary. Zero law of thermodynamics. This law known as zero law states that if two bodies are each in thermal equilibrium, with a third body, they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. For example, if we take two bodies A and B, one hotter than the other and bring them in the two contact with each other, the heat energy will be transferred from body at higher temperature to the body at lower temperature. And after some time, when there is no further heat transferred between them, then the bodies are said to be in thermal equilibrium with each other. Now, if a third body is brought in contact with the two bodies, let's take a thermometer as a third body. Now suppose there is no change in mercury level of the thermometer, then we can say that the body A and B are each in thermal equilibrium with the third body C. First law of thermodynamics. This law states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed if mass is conserved. The sum total of the energy in the universe is constant, however, it can be converted from one form into another. A machine cannot create work from nothing nor it can deliver more work than the energy it receives. In a thermal generating plant, the chemical energy of the fuel is converted into heat energy in the boiler, which in turn is converted into mechanical energy in the steam engine or steam turbine. If the turbine is coupled to a generator, the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. If the generated electrical energy is supplied to drive electric motor, the electrical energy is again converted into mechanical energy. If the electrical energy is supplied to heater, it is converted to heat. First law of thermodynamics was established by Joule that heat and mechanical energy are mutually convertible. Joule established experimentally that there is a numerical relation between the 
unit of heat and the unit of fur. This relation is known as Joule equivalent or mechanical equivalent of heat across to this relation. 1 kilocalorie is equal to 427 kg meter. Journal energy equation. According to the first law of thermodynamics or the law of conservation of energy, when heat energy is supplied to a body, it is used as an increase in internal energy, increase in kinetic energy and potential energy of gas molecule and in doing external work. In stating the above as a journal energy equation, delta Q is equal to amount of heat added to a body in kilojoule and delta E is equal to part of delta Q that is used in increasing the store of internal energy kinetic energy and potential energy of the gas molecule in kilojoule. Delta W is a part of delta Q that is used in doing external work in kilojoule. Then we have delta Q is equal to delta E plus delta W. If delta Q is negative, it would be interpreted as a heat rejected by the gas. If delta Q is positive, it denotes that heat is absorbed by the gas. Second law of thermodynamics. Second law of thermodynamics states that it is impossible for self-acting machine unaided by any external agency to convey heat from a body at a lower temperature to a body at a higher temperature. Heat cannot by itself pass from a colder body to a hotter body. Heat can be forced to pass to a higher temperature as in the action of a refrigeration machine but only by applying an external agency to drive the machine. So friends, if you like this video, then like and share. Also don't forget to subscribe this channel and press bell icon for getting notification of my upcoming videos.